And it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard with part two and no idea what I'm doing at all. But I like the paint I've got in my dish, even though it's kind of gray. I'm thinking that I'm going to put it on there and see if I can do something with it because otherwise it's going to get thrown away. And all I really want to do is tilt this. And I see that, at least in this particular case, I regret having used a lot of colors. I think, actually, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab another container. I am? <laughs> really? Okay, everything's sort of out of my reach. And I'm going to just keep on keeping on. Until I get something interesting. Which could turn out to be anything at this point. because I'm still playing with the satin enamels, and I will get what I get. I got a lot of paint, and I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing, which is a complete surprise to me right now. Move that over. Not so sure about that. I kind of wanted that not to be there. So, really, in the name of experimenting, I'm going to drag my skewer through a few things and then decide if it's copacetic to go ahead. Not sure about that white right there. I kind of like it. Let's torch really quickly and see if we get anything. I think my favorite thing is the um, is the neon purple from folk art, and that makes me want to just put some more of that in there because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. Now that's cooler than I was expecting it to be at this point, which is a good thing. I'm going to use my straw. Am I going to use my straw or am I going to do something else? I want to see if there's a black satin enamel to tell you the truth. All right, so I've got something there. And I can just add little saw blades or filaments or whatever you want to call them with my basting brush and add some texture in. And that's actually pretty cool. I'm liking that. I'm not so sure about that right there. I have an exorbitant amount of paint. That seems to be my learning curve with this particular. Which just makes me want to pour some stuff off. And the last time I did that, I spilled it or I stuck a bottle in it. But it could turn out really cool. Or really messy, or both. At the very least, it'll be a planet. And I will scrape up whatever's on my tile. It's a dump. Over she goes. Yeah, it's a planet. And I'll let as much of that fall down as I can. And it take a little while to get all the paint off me. I guess it's not that much waste compared to what I've seen in the past. Whoa! 
Well, I just tried to drop it. <laughs> so it must be time to uh, move that paint someplace I won't spill it this time. Have a quick rinse. Grab a silicone spatula from Princeton Art Tools. Seems like my mojo is a little <laughs> a little stuck today. That's all right. I have faith it will come back. That's not bad. I like that better than I did. I still love this. This art mine's color though. It really does seem to be all about the accidental art right at the moment. Because it's just not my moment. I always say I don't give up. Then there's moments like this where I kind of wish I would. Where else? I don't know if anywhere else. Maybe some turquoise and I could be good with this. Let's see if that works. <laughs> I've got some over here. I've also got some of that color shifting turquoise I like from folk art. So I remember now, it's best to do your balloon rolls backwards. That's better. It's getting better. It's getting better. She said optimistically. I could torch again. But once you get too much paint on your balloon, you're in trouble because then if it slips out of your hands. And I'm making mud. The buried video, never to be seen again. All right, I think what I wanted to do originally was to put some magenta on there. And I have a bunch of paint that I keep grabbing hold of. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with the magenta. Let's see if I can put it directly on the canvas. I feel my composition skills are a little bit lacking today, somehow. Makes me want to just add dots. Go figure. Dots or maybe more white. It is what it is. This is Priscilla Batzel in Springfield, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio going, Hey, you can't win them all. But you don't have to give up. You just wait for another day. Pull your canvas out. Say, Kesara Sara. Oh, maybe I'm going to like that pink. See, even when I say I'm going to give up, I don't. I think I, maybe I should. <laughs> you watch, I'll love this tomorrow.
Yeah, I suggest anytime you, you are disturbed about what you've created, you ought to give it till the next day. I'm going to torch this. Take those little tendrils out I see there. And those little dots of black. Yeah, maybe I can have a do-over tomorrow. I torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint, and sometimes if I'm lucky and early enough in the process, I also release patterns. I bet somebody likes this. It was just a little frustrating for me. I want to keep playing with it. <laughs> but it needs to be white if I'm going to do that. And it needs to not be where I already like the colors somewhat. So I'm just getting a lot of gray. Hey, it might be a fir my first scrape. All right. Who knows what's going to happen? I'm pouring it off. Or I'm at least going to do whatever I feel like doing which is, for some reason, not what I was doing. It's time to do that now. Because wasting everything just doesn't really seem like a good idea to me. Unexpected rescue? I hope so. <laughs> Come on out. I don't think I have any time left. I'm not even sure I set my timer. Me and Jackson Pollock right now. Right here, right now. I wonder if I have any light blue. What I want to do is just drag my skewer up through all that. All right, that's kind of interesting to me, more interesting than it was. So I'm going to call it good. And uh, I don't hate it right now. Hopefully I feel that way about it tomorrow. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Oh, and you're still here, and you saw all that. Wow, okay, so I told you in the last video where you could find all my information. If you're looking for it, you can find it. Look under the video, look on Facebook, and uh, I love you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I actually like this, and it's very expressionist, and um, so be it. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Uh, check the community board for tomorrow's video.
push all out. 